Japan is also called Chikang Island or Molesta Island. The word Chikang has become English and spread all over the world. Nowadays, Chikang is seen as part of Japanese culture by foreign people. But why are there many Chikang in Japan? Today, we will talk about it. Welcome to Japan Report. I am Meshida, and he is Japanese stand-up comedian and researcher of Chika, Ken Suzuki. Hello, I'm Ken Suzuki. I'm a train enthusiast. Today's theme is this. First, please watch this. In 2019, Almost 3,000 people were arrested for being chikan in Japan. So it means there were 30,000 chikan cases in Japan in 2019. The most popular place for chikan is in the train and station. More than 50% of molestation cases occur there. And the peak time for chikan is 7 to 8 a.m. in the morning. For ordinary people, commuter trains are hell, but for chicken men, it's heaven. For them, it's not a commuter train, it's a buffet. So, Kensa, why are there many chicken in Japan? According to this book that was written by a chicken researcher, in a crowded train, as there are many, many people and you are part of one big group, you can hide your personality, so it is easy to become anonymous. Then it is easier to secretly sexually harass somebody, like on the internet, where some people use an anonymous name and start a sl sl slandering. People. Some men fulfill their dirty desires of molesting women on trains. So, you mean some men take advantage of the anonymous situation and change into chikanman? Yes, the same as when Meshida san uses a fake name in a MILF hostess club and acts like a baby. It's reported that more than half of chickens don't get erect when they are molesting women on the train. What do you think about this fact? According to this book, molesting a woman is one of the ways they cope with their stress. They have a lot of stress in their life. For example, they work long hours or have bad relationships with others and their family, but they don't know how to relieve their stress and depression. The same as how some people drink to relieve their stress. They touch women's butts on trains to relieve their stress. So, chicken men don't know how to distress. They should learn from cancer how to relieve your stress by being spanked in an s and M club by a queen. To my surprise, it said that the stereotype of Chikan is having a family and working hard and being a good father. They are very ordinary good people. That's why when they are arrested as molesters, people are surprised. I can't believe he does that. Their appearance is a very ordinary, thin, middle-aged men who look like gentlemen who never insult women. You look exactly like a chica. Can I call you Mr. Chica? Ladies, if you see a man like him on trains, be careful. 
Meshita san, I'm very shocked and hurt. Do you know why she can't relieve their stress through molesting women on trains? They pick quiet women who look like they are not resistant. Then they molest them and relieve their stress and fulfill their desire to control. They are definitely sexist and piece of shit. I'm not one of them. I want to be dominated by women and hope they look down on me. It's disgusting to touch women's bodies. I want to be tied up and struck with a whip. It's also said that chicken porno videos affect our men. In porno videos, they depict fantasy situations and usually first women try to refuse but gradually they accept it and finally enjoy being molested. Some men believe in that fantasy and think that chicken can make women happy and make them calm. After being arrested for being a chicken, some men make excuses like this and hurt women again. Those people who believe chicken fantasies are idiots. Like how Meshita san believes that he can make women calm. In porn videos, women show us our fantasies every time they are just acting. In fact, they only feel pain. Recently, Chikan has been recognized as one type of sex addiction. What do you think about that? Chikan is similar to a gambling addiction. Once you get caught, your life will end and you will be seen as a hentai chikan man. They take that risk and molest women on trains. Then, if they don't get caught, they get an uplifting feeling and it is addictive. So, they can never stop molesting. For them, being a chikan is like playing a game. On that point, like many gamers, do chikan players also research a lot before playing? It's said many chikan players are very diligent and eager to learn. Chikan are like modern day ninja. You train for a long time for a very short mission. Before becoming a chikan, they research a lot and simulate it and prepare for when they are found out. So that's why it's very difficult to catch these masters of chikan because becoming a chikan is their whole life. Unlike Western women, most Japanese women, when they are molested, can't ask for help. They are scared and endure it while they are molested or get used to it. It's horrible, but chikan players aim for that kind of quiet woman. If women ask for help, and even if they call to the chikan, they have to spend a lot of time reporting it to the police and are asked a lot of questions, including how they were molested. They have to answer those questions, and it's painful for the women. It's like watching Meshita san's solo comedy show. Even if the police arrest the chikan, they are not prosecuted. They usually offer to pay the women and settle out of court. If a court case starts, it will take a lot of time and energy. Basically, the victims are worried about ruining the chikan's life. So, as a result, the men can simply pay and settle out of court. But this is weird. Chikan is definitely a crime, but it ends up more like after molesting women. Men then pay for it, like Mr. san does it with prostitutes. Kenza, you are wrong. With a prostitute, you have to pay up front. And this is much less of a problem than Chikan, but False charges are also becoming a problem. Some women act like they were molested and then 
demand money. Yes, men who look like they have a lot of money are usually the target. Meshita-san, we don't need to worry about it. So, Ken-san, what should we Japanese do to fix this chikan problem? It's very simple. Just eliminate crowded trains. I also think the name Chika is not good because nowadays we have an image of Chika as a light section crime. I think we need a more serious crime name. Yes, you are definitely correct. How about a uh, train rape? Wow, that's really serious. We should change the name to that. So ladies, if you see a man like him on trains, be careful. He has a stereotype appearance of a train rapist. Meshita-san, fuck you. Ken-san, thank you very much for coming today. Thank you. Meshita-san, see you soon.